good morning y'all welcome back to another video another vlog today and i mean however long it takes me maybe the next couple days i am going to just go on a cleaning rampage i really feel like i need to declutter reorganize and just like re vamp my space to make it a place where I can work, I can relax, just be at ease and feel productive. I feel like I haven't had that feeling in my room in a while and it's because I haven't really done a full deep dive clean. It should be done a few times a year but yeah, it's been a while for me. So I figured I might as well just vlog the process. I personally find it very satisfying to watch a space just be brought back to life. I actually just got back from a trip. I've unpacked and I actually did laundry before leaving Maui, which is where I was. So this is all clean clothes, but I also have a pile of clothes that were clean that I had left there before my trip. I have all of this stuff, more clothes, products, some PR, so many more bags that I could ever need. Shoes that need to be brought downstairs. Also things that I have unpacked from my trip, just haven't put away. This is exactly why I need to just declutter and reorganize all my drawers and make space because I don't have space and that's my biggest issue. Life is just so much easier when things have places where they belong. I'm just trying to reboot that system because I did have a system at one point. Um, your girl just accumulates a lot of stuff. I'm not really sure where I should begin. Hmm. Music. Music might help. Actually, first things first, we need a POA. POA. And I think this is applicable to all things in life. It is important to have a plan of action. Because without that, you have no sense of direction. It, you can't be like a chicken with its head cut off, am I right? This is what we're doing. Uh, can you guys see that? I'm literally going to write out all the things that I'm going to do. Probably in the order that I'm going to do it. Just the order that makes the most sense. The biggest thing for sure are the clothes in my drawers. So I need to go through all of that. Pick out things that I need to donate or that I want to post on Poshmark. Yes. Once I do that, I can put away all the clothes that are out right now. Next, I need to reorganize all these little drawers that I have here. I have all my Alex drawers, as well as the drawers at my desk. That should cover a lot. That's like the nitty gritty stuff. The rest is pretty easy peasy. It's just wiping down all the surfaces, cleaning the floors, disinfect. Last bonus things would just be wash the sheets, which I think, yeah, it's probably time to do that. Optional Target slash Marshall's run to just spruce up the space, maybe get some new candles. And the very last thing is to list things on Poshmark slash drop off donations. All right, here's what we got. All right, this drawer actually gives me stress. This is like a drawer that I frequent quite a bit because this is all my long socks, my bras, bralettes, just like intimates, undergarments, that sort of thing. I can't even fully open it, y'all. I have a lot of socks, wow. Probably a lot of crusty socks too. And I can't find a heart. This drawer is actually pretty clean. Kept this one relatively organized, but I'm just kind of going through everything, picking out what I don't want anymore, refolding things if it's a little messy. I also threw on a t-shirt so that it's easy for me to try on things in case. A little nasally now. My allergies, by the way, killing me. This always happens when I clean my room. That drawer was busting open. This drawer is a little bit more packed. What do we have? These are my nicer like going out tops. Fancier shindigs, you know? Oh my gosh. I wore this baby to the BTS concert and I don't know when I'll get to wear it again. But I feel like I have to hold on to it for a little longer just in case something comes up. Someone tell me, what do I 
do with my skinny jeans because I, I literally have not worn a pair of my skinny jeans in years. I love my baggy jeans, I love my straight jeans, I have tons of those. And I have a couple pairs of skinny jeans, but it's like, do I keep them? Do I hold on to them in case? Ugh. These are nice top shop ones that my sister and I, we both, actually we share them. So maybe I'll ask her. We have this system where we have a handful of pieces that we share and just kind of swap out so like i have some of our top shop jeans i have a bunch of our graphic tees and we just you know closet swap which is really nice instead of buying double of everything we just share things anyway that was a tangent but i just came across these jeans and i don't know what to do with them i truly don't think anyone who lives in sf needs this many pairs of denim shorts because when do i ever get to wear these in the city hardly ever but i do frequent warm places when I go on trips and whatnot, so I just, I have to keep them. I did get rid of some though. I got rid of a few pairs. Oh my gosh, and this, this is always where I crumble and where it's always so difficult for me. When I get to my t-shirts, graphic tees, old volleyball tanks, warm-ups, long sleeves. <laughs> because I'm not in volleyball season, which is usually summertime for me, I think I can put away all of like my practice shirts. That would actually allow for a lot of space. So I might have to just, yeah, put these to the side. Oh, my nose. I can't breathe. All right, that's pretty solid. I'm gonna switch these and shift these over. Put these here. I think I'll swap out a couple of these so that they're in the right category first row is more for like going out putting together actual outfits i would say that these ones are more pajama-y i literally think about this dance video every now and then i don't know why it just popped up in my head actually it, the song played on spotify and i was just reminded amazing okay wow i'm getting so distracted cup of joe i need a lunch break soon though I'm now working on activewear. I'm reorganizing my sports bra drawer. So far she's looking good. I've got seven drawers dedicated to Gymshark. Split up by category, organized by color. All my newer pieces from the studio collection, which I freaking love, have not had a place in a drawer yet. So I'm gonna try to make space for them. And also the sweat collection. <laughs> now almost four o'clock i have not even finished cleaning out my closet so we are not doing so well on the plan of action but you know it really is a process and i'm already dedicating the next few days to this at the rate that i'm moving yeah i'm gonna move on to the things that are hanging in my closet and it's kind of packed in here basically how it's split up i have coats i have flannel shirts I have dresses and then I have sweaters, but I think I'm gonna swap out like the sweaters and ship them so that they're more accessible since it's a little bit colder now. Yeah, since I'm probably not gonna be wearing like majority of my dresses. Oh my God. Ah. Shit's falling out. Shit's falling out. Oh, now my room is really starting to look a mess. Long coats are staying here. Yes, 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 yes. Chunky knit cardigan can stay. Um, oh, the heck. Tiny little shrug. Oh, actually. Yeah. I got this a while ago. I have not worn it, but I think the shrugs are in this year. So we'll keep her. I like this sweater. This is a yes. Sweater vest. I did thrift this, but I don't think I wear it enough. I don't. I feel like this would be really cute to wear to like a cabin trip or something. I will hold on to this for one more season. Just one more. We're walking hand in hand in Disneyland and then at the Grand Canyon. Round sweat off, turtleneck sweat off. Oh, 
of the dresses I own that I'm not getting rid of. I think I can pull some of them and keep them in this closet here as like an accessible piece to style for fall and winter. AKA these like slip dresses, darker colored things like this. Even this dress I feel like could work. Definitely this maxi dress. I took a little dinner break as well as a little show break. I was watching a new season of Love is Blind. I've also started the process of reorganizing these drawers. <laughs> That was the pile that I came up with after finishing my closet. I need a break though from the clothes, so that's why I'm here at my desk. Skincare, hair care stuff, electronics. I won't bore you with all those things. Um, I think the most important drawers that I wanted to get done were the ones by my desk because if I can get organized here, then I can have less stuff here. <laughs> all right, working on the desk. There used to be a bunch of folders, papers, books behind my laptop. So I had a little organizer thing here, but I'm putting whatever was in that organizer into my drawers. These are the things that I cleared off. I'm back in the cleaning mood and I've been like distracted, so I forgot to set up my camera. But we're making progress. I need to start vacuuming because there's a lot, a lot of dust. I found this little journal and it's a bullet journal from 2017. Look at what I found on one of the pages. Freshman year, second semester, I think? That's crazy, look at that. I did one thing, one thing. I cleaned the desk, ah! cleared off all the junk. So now all I have are just my laptop, my screen, my lamp, my coaster, whatever. So excited to just be able to sit at my desk clutter free, work in a nice, beautiful space. I also revamped the shelves up there, which I wasn't planning on doing, but I had the same decor on those shelves when I put the shelves up in 2020, I'm gonna say. We're done with this one. I'm officially done cleaning for the day. I'm gonna start again tomorrow. I will not be sleeping on my bed tonight because obvious reasons, there's a ton of clothes on there. So I will be crashing on the couch tonight. See you in the morning. Good morning. I really needed that full night's rest because I was in cleaning mode this morning. I woke up at like 6.30, I wanna say. I just got right to it. Pretty much cleared off everything off my bed. So that means I put away clothes, I cleaned out the closet. As of right now, this half of the room is very clean, my desk and my bed, but the rest of today will just be working on some of the stuff over here, wiping off all the surfaces, disinfecting everything. Did not go to the gym yesterday, so I'm gonna make it a point to just give myself a couple hours of time in my day to just work out, get some fresh air, and then in the afternoon, I'll definitely come back and finish this all up. All right, we're back at it. I'm not loving the clutter of my skincare, which I keep right here on my dresser. I honestly don't even use most of these products. Some of them are empty, I don't even know why. So how and also a lot of these things are really old and with products, I know you're supposed to be using them within like that year-ish period. Like holding on to empty containers, what the heck? <laughs> I hardly ever use this little skincare fridge anymore, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, it's kind of chunky on my dresser, so I'm gonna clean it up, clean it off, and see if like one of my friends wants it or I can maybe sell it on Facebook Marketplace.
like 95% done with the cleaning process of my room. I'm pretty satisfied with how it is right now. Just finished wiping down all the surfaces. I mopped the floors. I don't feel quite at ease yet because all the clothes that I took out of my room and I'm you know, planning to give away or sell or whatever, it's still all sitting outside. So I need to take care of that. That's just like a whole nother project, taking all the photos and listing it. Ah! Anyways, if you guys wanna follow me on Poshmark, be sure to do so because I'll be posting all that stuff soon. Or it should be up by the time this video is up. I did place an order on Amazon a couple days ago. I don't understand why they send it in two different boxes. I swear I chose the option for them to package it all together. In this box we have... Oh... Oh, okay, hold on. I bought this like leafy garland, a fallish themed one, but it's looking a little... The greens are just too fluorescent. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I wanted to put this on my mantle up here. Does it look awful? It might. Let me just continue unboxing. Oh, I bought some new outlets or like, uh, what are they called? Extension cords because I need a better wiring system for like my chargers and my laptop. Um, I have a lot of things that need to be plugged in and I don't have enough outlets for them. So this is like a two pack. I also have little USB ports, which is perfect. I'll set those up later. I'm excited for this one. I forget what this thing was for. Oh, I bought new Christmas lights because I actually have Christmas lights here around my bed on this wall, as you can see, which have been there for years, but they actually broke I want to say a year or so ago and I never swapped them out. Especially in the winter time, it feels so cozy when those are on. Okay, we'll have to set that up too. And lastly, I actually got a new vinyl, which I haven't gotten a new one in a long time, but I was looking up at my shelf up here. The first day that I started recording this video and started cleaning my room, I was up there and I was kind of just like rearranging them, seeing if I could like swap them out because I've had the same ones on display for a while. And I came to realize that I actually have like some fall colors going on. If I had one more in this certain color scheme, it would look perfect. But also this is an album that I freaking love and it is, oh, which way is it? Harry Styles' new album, Harry's House. Freaking love, I'm obsessed, but yeah. I'm so excited. Can you guys see? Okay, that's it. I'll put it back to how it was originally, actually. This. So it was more like blues and greens. I had Troy Savon up here instead. This is what it was originally. And it worked really well because it was like blue, 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 and then like two faces. But then I switched out this one. I put my Frank Sinatra one up here. Keep the Charlie Puth because we like the warm tones. This Benny album is actually two in one. So flipped it to that side. And then I have my Ray Goodman in brown vinyl, which is my dad's, which I think is super cool. And then my Khalid one is just by itself. But I was thinking Harry's house kind of like matches with this. So I could, maybe I could swap. Oh, I think I like that. Ooh. And <laughs> you see what I wanted to do originally with these leaves. Oh, they're really dusty. Okay. Oh, I guess those lights have to come down too anyway. Or now I'm thinking maybe I should just keep it plain and simple. I think it looks cleaner that way. And these honestly look so freaking tacky. I can't see, it won't stay. All right, I think I vote against the leaves because it's just not doing it for me. All right, um, here's the cord situation. I wanna have everything organized and plugged into this outlet or this extension cord. iPad charger here super long charger. Okay, this is actually perfect because I can plug this thing into one of the USB ports here. And that is actually my wireless charger that I have up here. It fits perfectly right on my lamp. I can just set my phone down there 
and it'll be charging. Oh my god, it's so freaking dusty. Good thing I took my allergy medicine this morning. I have one more extension cord, which I'm gonna use here. I have a few things that get plugged in. So my computer, my potentially my printer, which I've had sitting here and have never had plugged in. This is the printer that I had in college. I guess when I moved back home, I just never bothered to set it up. But I actually do use the printer a lot, especially with like Poshmark orders, needing to print out shipping labels and all that. Also all my camera tripod equipment is down here. My ring light, which I hardly use now. Look at this tripod. Ew, it is so dusty. My room would be pretty much done if it weren't for this pile of clothes. For a few days, I had it on the couch, which was great for me because it was just out of sight and it felt like my room was legit super cleaned out. But I gotta respect that the couch is a common area. And so I brought everything back in here. Now I need to get into the posh marking process yesterday, which I didn't film, but I went ahead and tried on pretty much everything and took photos of me wearing it. But I also like to do flat lay shots so people can see like the label and just like details of the clothes. I'm gonna do that now. I'm expecting it to take a long time. I'm just gonna play some music or play a show or something to keep me busy while I snap away. I just use my white sheet as a backdrop. It looks dark on this camera, but it's actually very well lit right here. Poshmark orders to drop off at the post office. Like literally, look at this. I'm gonna bring this in a laundry basket. I also have this small bag here. <gasps> ah! I announced on my Instagram that I had some new listings up and you guys, you guys are really helping me clear my closet out. So thank you. We're basically down to the last bits of my checklist from the start of this video. The last few days have just already put my mind at rest and I just feel way more at ease being in a room that is like actually organized. You look into all the drawers and everything is just put away in its proper place. Again, quite the process, but so worth it. And here is the final reveal, my room all clean. I hope this gives you some motivation, inspiration, whatever it is to either just clean your space, rearrange your space, spruce it up. I did not realize how badly I needed this, but I'm glad that I got to hang out with you guys, take you through this process with me for the past few days. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so, so much for watching. That is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.